Hello, we're going to make a video today and in this video uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show um, how when you after you've updated your uh, CentOS Linux uh, you'll often see that uh, you'll have two entries for CentOS. That first entry is the at the top is the updated CentOS uh, line for the new kernel and the old kernel options uh, to boot are down below. Uh, CentOS does this so that in case the old kernel doesn't boot you can still get into your machine by booting the old kernel if necessary. Okay. What we're going to take a look at is how to remove that second line once you determine that you can boot with the new kernel and the um, old kernel is no longer needed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to boot into my system using the um, new kernel and this will take a second here as it cranks away. Now I'm, in this demonstration I'm going to be using VI because that's what I'm comfortable, comfortable with. You can use whatever editor you want uh, that's on your system. Uh, many people will, will prefer Emacs and um, others may prefer something else. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my a normal user password. I try and log in with my normal user password all the time even if I'm doing administrative stuff. Once in a while I'll log in as root. Um, it's not a mortal sin or anything like that. You certainly may do that. Okay, so I'm going to open a terminal window. and I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger for uh, viewing ease. And then I'm going to do a switch user and I'm going to put a dash and the roots implied and I'll type in my root password and now I have a root essentially have a root terminal and now I'm going to do a change directory to slash etsy slash grub actually I'm going to slash boot slash grub had that wrong there we go and I'll do an ls just to see what's in here and you'll see there's a file there called grub.com that's the file we're going to edit Again, you can use whatever editor you want, but this will give you the general idea. I'm going to open this up in VI. Okay, and I've got some changes I've done here already. I increased the timeout time to 15 seconds. I got rid of that little hidden menu thing that hides the menu that allows you to choose, and uh, unless you hit a key in three seconds. So I got rid of that hidden menu thing. Uh, first title here that's my new if you look at the numbers here you'll see that that's my new um, that's my new kernel and, uh, and that's here on the title line if you go down here to the second title line you'll see that this is 431 dot <coughs> with no numbers behind it so this is the old one um, and if you remember uh, the default uh, option that's going to boot I have a zero here, so it starts numbering at zero. It looks at the first title line, and that's zero. The second title line would be one. If I had default equals one, if I didn't hit any keys on that uh, grub screen, it would, if this default said one, it would skip this one here that's zero, and it would come down here and boot this one that says one. I only have two options in my, um, I currently only have two options in my uh, grub screen. Uh, you might have another title, which would be 2 with the current configuration. You might have a, another title underneath uh, this set of lines, and that title might say something like Windows 7, or you might have another Linux. Okay, But anyways, this is the one that we want to take a look at and get rid of. So what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, if I have other ones below this, what I would normally do is I would delete these lines, um, and copy and paste them below all the lines and the only reason I save it is I like to save the old kernels and you don't need to but um, and I'm going to go ahead and comment all these lines out now I like to put a little li little line here at the top that says something like old kernels just to hold that around okay and now if I save this and boot it, I should only see this one option come up. 
uh, or save this and restart it when the grub screen comes up. I should only see one option. We'll go ahead and restart. Give it a second here. There you go. Now it comes up and you only see the one option. It got rid of that one title line. So just by removing that title line and the three lines under until you come to the next title line, that'll clear uh, that boot option. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful and thanks for listening.